Hello and welcome to BBC World News. It's the latest in a series of scandals to hit the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. The creative show director of the Olympics opening ceremony, Kentaro Kobayashi, has been sacked one day before the event is due to be held. It follows criticism over past comments he made during his career as a comedian, which have been described as anti-Semitic. This is now the third high-profile artist connected with the ceremony to be fired. Our sports presenter Sarah Mulcairins is in Tokyo with the latest. In a press conference with the Tokyo 2020 organiser Seiko Hashimoto, she confirmed in that press conference that the director of the opening ceremony, which takes place here in Tokyo on Friday, had been fired from his position. Now, this all relates to this video that has resurfaced. He is a comedian, an actor, and has also been uh, was director of this ceremony. Now, back in 1998, he was recorded in this video where he made a joke about the Holocaust. Now this video surfaced on Tuesday and Seiko, Seiko Hashimoto said she regretted that it had taken until now to make this decision to fire uh, the director of the opening ceremony. It is the latest uh, in a line of scandals to hit the organisation of this Games. Uh, we know, don't we, that um, a couple of months ago Seiko Hashimoto replaced the former head of Tokyo 2020. He resigned over sexist comments. We also had a creative chief who was stood down over um, comments around a female comedian, uh, essentially insinuating that that comedian was a pig, using the phrase Olympic pig. And then also this week we had uh, the news that uh, one of the composers with some of the music in this opening ceremony had been had uh, the music removed because of an article uh, which resurfaced in which he uh, recounted uh, time where he had bullied disabled uh, children when he was a student. Now, Seika Hashimoto in that press conference said that she understood that there may well be many people who will not want to watch the opening ceremony um, and that also uh, that she would not uh, step down uh, from her position. Uh, but it's very troubling times. We're not quite sure what it means for the opening ceremony uh, on Friday. Uh, she said that they are going to review things uh, and see how they get on over the next 24 hours or so. So let's now speak to Rabbi Abraham Cooper from the Simon Wiesenthal Centre who joins us live from Washington. Uh, hello Rabbi, um, thank you very much for joining us. I wonder firstly if you could give us your reaction to these developments. Well, I think that the uh, Japanese Olympic Committee made the right decision, made all the more difficult because it comes literally on the eve of the opening ceremony. But when you have someone who's a veteran actor, had 22 years to consider his, uh, you know, changing his mind or at least apologizing to what happened, and additional comments apparently denigrating people with uh, physical disabilities, there was just no other decision that could have been made. So it was appropriate and, uh, you know, at a difficult time, we all know around the world we're, we're all part of the COVID family. No one knows when this is going to end. And we hope and pray that Japan's made the right move. Uh, and hopefully the games will go off and the focus will be on the athletes and the opening ceremony. You know, you got a lot of talented young people probably just told them go out there and, and give us some contemporary music and dance. I'm sure it'll be terrific. Now, this um, video has emerged in the, the last couple of days. What more do you know about uh, what actually kind of took place in, in that video? You know, I'm, I'm not a, uh, a, a film critic uh, or, a, or a, a censor of uh, a political thought or satire. I do know one thing, that the idea of a joke and genocide don't belong in the same thought or sentence, let alone in the video. And I also acknowledge uh, that it happened in 1998. The person was much younger then. And unfortunately, as someone who's been in the public eye throughout, never thought that maybe this kind of uh, behavior was inappropriate and an apology to the victims was due along the line. Uh, today's apology, uh, I, I read the English translation, so maybe I didn't quite uh, get it, but uh, I'm not sure that the individual involved even understands as we speak the depths of, of uh, uh, the harm and, and suffering he caused the people who uh, I think it's safe to say uh, have suffered enough. So 
uh, it was the correct decision. Um, I know that the committee has its hands full. The, the Wiesenthal Center was scheduled to have an exhibition on the Nazi Holocaust open in the 64 Olympic Village in connection with the um, Para Games uh, in order to highlight the great achievements of people with disabilities this year in sport, as opposed to the mass murder that the German Nazi government carried out on their own citizens with disabilities in the late 1930s and early 1940s. Rabbi Abraham Cooper, thank you so much for joining us from the Simon Wiesenthal Center. Appreciate your time with us. Um, so what is it, more than 24 hours ahead of that uh, opening ceremony? These delay games have been hit by so many different crises over the years, and um, this is another one.